Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to put image on the OLED display in 60 seconds, and then I will tell you why I'm doing this exercise. This video is sponsored by PCBWay, but more about them later in the video. So are you ready? Let's get started. You will need Arduino Uno, the OLED display. This is the SSD 13060 x 64 pixel I2C version and some jumper wires. You connect the power to 5 volts, ground to ground, SCL to SCL and SDA to SDA. Then you need to download, install and run Arduino IDE, click the library icon, type in U8G2 and click the install button to install the U8G2 library. Go to the file, examples, U8G2, full buffer and the hello world. In here uncomment the correct initialization which is the SSD 13060 128x64 pixel 8 square C connection and I will also delete all the R1s so the code is more clear. The code prints the text hello world but it of course needs an image. You can use photopy to draw your own but this time I've actually stolen one from internet. Open the image to CPP website and select the image, make sure to swap the pixels, select the generate code copy output, paste the code here, and instead of drawing the string we will draw the image using the draw xbmp function, position 00, the correct size, and the name from the generated code. Select the correct board, hit the upload button, and in a few seconds you should see the image on the OLED display, just in time to hit the 1 minute mark. So let me tell you why I was doing all of this. So I found this article where the designer Marcin Jablonski describes his process of designing screens for some FPV drone goggles and it's a really interesting article because it has a lot of details, a lot of images and even animations. It also has this nice looking menu which I've used today for my image. However, the most interesting part for me was this sentence saying Interestingly, the inability to quickly verify the interface on the real equipment turned out to be quite problematic. And I feel like this is the struggle for many designers and hopefully this video showed you that it doesn't have to be the case. If you just want to show the image on the display, a lot of times you can just do it on your own. And if you do this all the time, maybe instead of connecting the wires you can create your own Arduino PCB shield. And if you use the link down in the description of this video, you can get 10 PCBs from PCBWay for free, only paying for shipping. So thank you PCBWay for sponsoring this video. You can also get the OLED display in a few different sizes and a few different colors. Those four are slightly smaller in size being 0.96 inch and this one is slightly bigger in size being 2.4 inch. And I'm using the very same Arduino sketch because everything is the same except for the display size. If I flip the display you can see it's using the same driver chip, same resolution and the same connection. So you can use the display size that works the best for your project. If you want to know how to create a fully functional menu using the Arduino Uno and this OLED display, please watch this video where I describe the process step by step. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Thanks and bye.